Hello, this is Cameron MacDonald, author of Love, A Unified Theory, A New Way of Looking at Love. Have you ever wondered what love is? If you're anything like me, you take it for granted. Love feels great when it's going well, and like hell when it's running badly. Apart from that, it runs pretty smooth most of the time. But what is love really? Maybe we should try parking feelings for a moment. What if I said love is all about value instead? That's to say, when you're attached to somebody and you're committed to them, you value them. Would such an idea forget feelings? No, absolutely not. Let's take a typical relationship. It starts at a party. Across the room you see that special person you've been looking for all your life. I know, it sounds a bit corny, but run with me for a moment. Before you know it, you're dating and falling in love. Emotionally, you're attaching to them. You're also building a sense of commitment. What I mean is, you'll be there for them because you worry about their welfare, which is how you feel when falling in love. Taken together, you start to value them in an emotional way. And yet you haven't said those three special words yet. I love you. It's only when you say these words that you move from falling in love to being in love. And to get there, you realize three things. They are good for you. Overall, they meet your needs, respect your rights, and match your values, and they are so special, they take on a sense of perfection. In knowing these things and saying I love you, you recognize they are immensely valuable. You commit that you will be there for them, wherever and whenever they need you, and you take up a sense of ownership where you proudly call them my beloved lover, or partner, boyfriend, husband, or wife, and so on. When looking at love differently, as value bestowed for instance, we accept love includes intense feelings that we have little control over. These feelings begin when falling in love, but love is something that continues on, beyond when we say, I love you. It recognizes the immense value we hold for our beloved, the commitment we make to them, and the sense of zealous ownership we take up of them. Moreover, if love is value, based on commitment and attachment, it spans all our loving relationships. Feelings don't do this. For example, the way we feel when we look into the eyes of our lover on our wedding day are very different to the way we feel for our loved aunt and anyone else we love. And yet, we love them all. This is a new way of looking at love. For more details on the book due out this September, visit the website above and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. <laughs>